Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 22 of the Legal Day Challenge, and there's also a, a week four challenge or whatever that we'll do afterwards. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm and the loading time and all these things. Uh, let's see. Today we have 131, a palindrome petitioning. I like that they, I don't know if it's intentional because if lead code, you never know. But I like that we have a palindromic problem and the problem number is 131, which is a palindrome. Anyway, given an S, a string S, petition S such that every substring of petition is a palindrome, return all possible palindrome petition of S. So, okay, so. This is again, uh, I mean, when you have to return all possible things, it's very hard to um, be better than brute force, right? Because your the size of your output is likely the size of, um, or, or like in the worst case, the size of the output is going to be exponential no matter what. So it's way hard to do better than the output size because the output size is going to be a lower bound, right? And in this case, a very easy example is that if, you have 16 A's, well, then every, um, it's going to be a 2 to the 15 possible um, palindromes, right? Pa uh, uh, yeah, two, or 2 to the 15 possible partitioning. So that's always going to be, you know, the upper bound. So, so why I say that is that so you don't have to waste time trying to think about something more clever or smarter or whatever, right? Uh, and why did I say 15 for 16? Well, because if you have a string like a, you know, a, 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 I don't even know how many this is. Uh, this is, maybe I should have to. Okay, let's just say eight. There are eight of these, but eight of these means that there's seven um, spaces in between, right? The blanks. And each blank can be a partition or not a partition, right? So you can say maybe we can add a partition here or we don't. And you can say that for each blank. So for your n characters, there's going to be n minus 1 blanks. So that's why it's 2 to the n minus 1. But of course, this is the same big O because it's still going to be 2 to the n. But, you know, doesn't really matter, right? So we'll do the same thing that we do uh, yesterday, right? So here, um, I forget what, it's the construct. We have an index and we have a current. Right? And here, we, can, we maybe will, will, I mean, we'll set up the same way, but we'll do something a little bit different in that we want, I mean, I guess there are two ways to do it, really. Um, one is that you construct every partitioning and then check if the partitioning is good. Or you can, um, you could check the partition as you build. Obviously, checking the partition as you build is going to be faster uh, most of the time because that means that it, it has a very in, innate uh, pruning, right? Meaning you cut off branches that you don't care about or that cannot possibly have a, an answer. Um, sometimes that costs a little bit, like due to certain uh, efficiency type things, sometimes the other one is faster, but but in, in the worst case, it should, well, I would say in general it doesn't matter, but, um, but, in general, it doesn't matter, but being on lead code, maybe it does because lead code is sometimes weird. So, okay. So, I'll do it. Um, which way should I do it? All right. Since yesterday we, and the day before, we did the all possible one. This time, we'll do the uh, check each one, right? And the way that we can do it is that we just create, um, you know, four, you know, uh, let's say, not start, uh, n in range of index and n, right? <coughs> So then now, if, and I'm going to write this very lazily. If we need to optimize, we can optimize. But we start with index to n plus 1 is equal to, so if this is a palindrome, uh, if, then, then now we can construct uh, n plus 1 current. Except for we have to update current. So current, we append this thing. And then we pop afterwards, right? And then if index is equal to n, then well, we're Gucci. So answer that append current. And again, we have to make a copy of this here for special in Python because otherwise you're going to um, 
just append a reference, which is not good enough. Uh, maybe I should explain that a little bit more. But, but you can play around with that and and discover the horror that is sometimes. But yeah. Uh, give it a submit. Huh, funny I got wrong answer once before. Thank goodness I didn't do it this time. Uh, what did I get a wrong answer on? Huh, that is weird. Oh, uh, maybe I just didn't do it. Oh. What, what craziness did I do here? Okay. Well, in any case, I don't know what I did. I It's fine. Uh, but yeah, so why is this? So this for loop may look confusing and makes the, the recursion um, really tricky to analyze, right? But like I said, it is still the same thing because um, for each partitioning, we only have two choices, whether we break or not. So in the worst cases, it's going to be two to the n times o of n because... We have a lot of checks. And maybe it's a little bit more expensive than this than because of this. I think you can probably uh, you can probably optimize this a little bit by constructing it. Um, like you can construct this case uh, much clearer uh, with an n squared pre um, pre calculation. But apparently it's fast enough, so I'm 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 happy with it. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have for today. Or oh, this problem, we'll do the weekly problem afterwards. So yeah. Uh, this is going to be exponential or probably n times 2 to the n and that's because uh, this is the only thing that's a little bit sloppy but you can also pre-calculate this outside and if you do uh, um, then you will make it all of n times 2 to the n for sure but somehow this is still faster than the other stuff so I don't know what did I do last time last time I basically did the same thing um, yeah, this is exactly the same thing, so I don't know, pretty much. Um, in fact, I, I create more copies of this, but I don't know. Anyway, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.